On November 12, 1966, in Clendenin, West Virginia, the first recorded sighting of the Mothman occurred. A group of five individuals working in a cemetery witnessed an unexplainable phenomenon when a large brown figure took off from nearby trees and soared over their heads. They described the creature as resembling a brown human being. Three days later, in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, two young couples were driving when they spotted what looked like two red lights near the North Power Plant. They parked their car and approached the plant, only to see a bird-like creature standing nearby. The couples became frightened and fled in their car, but the creature followed them. They reported the incident to the local sheriff's department. Roger Scarberry, one of the witnesses, described the creature as shaped like a man, but bigger, maybe six and a half or seven feet tall, and it had big wings folded on its back. His wife Linda added that it was those eyes that got us. It had two big red eyes like automobile reflectors. The creature apparently chased their car to the edge of town and then disappeared into a field. The city police investigated the area two hours later but found nothing. The following day, a press conference was held, and the local newspaper, the Point Pleasant Register, reported the sighting as, Couples see man-sized bird, creature, something, on November 16, 1966. The national press soon picked up the story, and it quickly spread throughout the United States. Following the initial sightings, others in the town reported similar encounters in the weeks to come. The Gettysburg Times published a report detailing eight additional sightings over a period of three days, including two volunteer firefighters who claimed to have seen a very large bird with large red eyes. Newell Partridge, a contractor and resident of Salem, West Virginia, reported seeing strange patterns on his TV screen one night, followed by a mysterious sound outside his home. When he shone a flashlight in the direction of the noise, he claimed to have seen two red eyes resembling bicycle reflectors staring back at him. He also believed that the creature was responsible for the disappearance of his German shepherd dog. The sightings continued for over a year, and it is estimated that there were over 100 sightings during this time. However, the sightings abruptly stopped after the collapse of the Silver Bridge on December 15, 1967. The bridge was carrying much heavier loads than it had originally been designed for and had been poorly maintained. Attributed to a fault suspension chain, the collapse didn't stop the conspiracy theories from spreading. One popular theory believes that Chief Cornstalk, who was a prominent figure in the Ohio Valley during the late 18th century, placed a curse on the land after he was murdered by American militiamen in 1777. The curse was said to bring about tragedy and misfortune to the area for the next 200 years. Some believe that the appearance of the Mothman and the subsequent collapse of the Silver Bridge were manifestations of this curse. However, it's worth noting that there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. Writer and ufologist John Keel later linked the Mothman sightings to the bridge collapse in his book The Mothman Prophecies, suggesting that they were bad omens of the impending disaster. The legend of the Mothman has since become associated with disasters and is often seen as a sign of impending calamity. The creature's motives are unclear, and it is unknown whether it is trying to cause disasters, warn people of danger, or simply observe. Mothman sightings have been reported worldwide, including in Germany, where a creature scared miners away before a collapse and at the Chernobyl nuclear plant before the meltdown. There have also been sightings of the Mothman in the United States, including two pictures taken in New York on 9-11 and multiple sightings before the collapse of the Minnesota Bridge. In southeast China, locals reported seeing a menacing figure known as the Man Dragon hovering over the Xi'an Tadam before a 40 billion gallon flood struck, killing 15,000 people. There were also reports of Mothman sightings in Japan before the devastating earthquake and tsunami in March 2011, which caused extensive damage to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and resulted in one of the worst nuclear meltdowns in history. The mystery of the Mothman remains unsolved, and there are many theories and legends surrounding this elusive creature. It is possible that the sightings were a combination of various factors, including migratory birds, owls, pranks, and the effects of pollution on the local wildlife. However, it's interesting to consider how local legends and folklore may have influenced the sightings of Mothman in Point Pleasant.
The legend of Wapi and the Star Chief's daughter certainly shares similarities with the Mothman story. A tale about an Indian by the name of Wapi who lived in the forest alone, he became intrigued by the Star Chief's daughter who lived high up in the sky. They had a child together, but the child was brought to live in the sky instead of in the forest with Wapi. He terribly missed her and his son. One day the chief gave Wapi an option to live in the sky, but first Wapi was required to pass a test involving gathering bits of animals of the forest. The chief said for each of the family to choose a part of an animal for that is what they'll become. Star Chief's daughter, Wapi, and their son all chose a white hawk's feather instead to descend back to the forest. The legend then explains the families of the white hawks continue to live in the forest. Perhaps residents of Point Pleasant witnessed apparitions of White Hawks during the events leading up to the collapse of the Silver Bridge. The idea of Mothman being linked to White Hawks is also intriguing. In some cultures, Hawks are seen as symbols of strength, focus, and intuition. They are known for their keen eyesight and ability to soar high in the sky, which could be seen as symbolic of the Mothman's ability to fly and watch over the town of Point Pleasant. Of course, it's important to remember that legends and folklore are often open to interpretation and can be shaped by personal beliefs and experiences. It's fascinating how local legends and folklore can continue to captivate people and become a part of a town's identity. The Mothman sightings have certainly left their mark on Point Pleasant, with the town embracing the creature's legend and turning it into a source of pride and attraction for visitors. It's also interesting to see how the Mothman has evolved from a mysterious and terrifying presence to a beloved icon of the town, celebrated through festivals and public art installations. It just goes to show how a story can take on a life of its own and become a part of a community's history and culture.